Greetings, thrill seekers, music lovers, and conversationalists all across the Fruited Plain. How is everybody doing today? It is the Rock Hour. I am your host, uh, DJ Z, your rock ambassador. And today is, well, let's see here, what is today? Today is, uh, uh, we'll get with that later. But anyway, you're here with me. Go ahead, take a break from your studies and whatever else. You know what? Half of you today uh, more than half aren't even in class today. Who am I kidding? Why? This is Thanksgiving week. None of you are in class or doing anything. So just take a break. Uh, it's, it's this one over here. So just take a break from whatever it is you're doing on your studies. And, uh, well, have it here with me. You're, uh, like I said, who are you kidding? You're not, you're not going to do that assignment till last minute anyway. I know because that's what I did exactly last night. 30 minutes before, I lived. Yeah, I came back. I, I lived. It was an easy assignment. Uh, the, the hard one was, uh, that one was just hard. But uh, Yeah, so welcome everybody. This is Rocketo Radio, the Valley Student Station. And uh, well, how was your weekend? You know, I do remember my weekend this this uh, this time. That, that I definitely do. I remember the weekend. And uh, well, here I am. So we got Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, in class today, we we're going over some Mongols. Speaking of Mongols, you know who I'm going to play uh, coming up with that. So, not much happened over the weekend. You know, did some studies, did some homework, did some interviews. Yeah, I'm doing this thing where I got to interview some people, and it was it was pretty cool. My my first interview, and uh, of of people to be recorded, uh, hopefully to be stored away in a warehouse in the archives. For all mankind to see within the future. If it doesn't get destroyed by the next invading invading party that comes through here. As always happens, you know, stuff like that happens. It's just, uh, uh, I can't help it. But uh, anyway, yeah, that was my first interview. It was pretty good. Uh, I was pretty excited about that. Uh, it's just like a radio show. So, except for I ask questions. And hopefully they're open-ended questions. You don't want to ask anybody like, uh, so, uh, did you do that? I'll tell you yes, no. I'll make it wide open, you know, or or uh, open ended. Uh, that would be my suggestion to you. So, uh, uh, how to do that? I don't know. I'm, I've just uh, been around for a while. Been you know asking questions for a long time. That's all I do is ask questions. Uh, and I'm asking the question of you: Why are you here today? That's right. To, you can take a break from your studies. As you're taking a break from your studies, uh, never be afraid to. Oh boy, what what do I have here? An explosion. That's wait, wait. Oh, wrong one there. No, that's not the one. You, you thinking speaking of people not here today, uh our main producer is not here today. Uh they are out uh where they're at, I, I don't know. I just know they're out for the week. They're probably with everybody else that's not in class. So that's that's what we got going, and uh, uh, enjoy a favorite beverage of your own. You know, just to put it mildly, we're studying the Mongols today in history. So uh, in in uh, celebration of that, well, let's play this. That was Holy Diver by Dio. Right before then, Thunderstruck, ACDC, UBUU with the U. And you are listening to Rocketo Radio, that Valley Student Station. You know what? If you don't have it, if you're not listening to it on there yet, get the uh, Radio FX app and put Vaquero Radio as your favorite radio station. That is where you can listen to me or listen to me online at VaqueroRadio.com. Either way, you'll listen to the same awesome show. And the fastest hour in broadcast all week long is going to go by faster than than you know what through a goose. I mean, it's going to go through faster than... A favorite beverage of yours going down the gullet. It's just, it just trust me, it's going to go by fast, which is why you can skip your class and listen to me. Because like I said, you know, nobody's in class today. Everybody's taking the week off. It's Thanksgiving week. Everybody's gone. and uh, But I know you're there. Why? Because you are listening to, of course, me, your favorite host of all time. You've been waiting six days and 24 hours for this show to come on. And it is upon us. It is here. Well, I got some news for you. Uh. Speaking of Thanksgiving and everything else like that, what day is today? Well, it is November the 20th. 
Monday, November the 20th. And today is Future Teachers of America Day. So for all you Future Teachers of America Day, hey, good, good, here, here's to you. Here's to you. Uh, one of the things you're going to need for sure as a teacher is to find out what your favorite beverage is and to enjoy it a lot, especially on weekends. Uh, for those of you who are former or current teachers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, another one in toast for all of, all of you teachers. Just hold on a sec while I get that toast down for you. All right, today is National Pay Back Your Parents Day. So, uh, well, I guess it's time to pay them back. You know, go ahead and put in a MasterCard, uh, Discover, or something like that. No, I'm not sponsored by MasterCard or Discover. I am sponsored by, uh, who, who, who does sponsor me? Yeah, I'm sponsored by myself right now. So, yeah, National Payback Year, Parents' Day, Universal Children's Day. I don't know what you're supposed to do with the children's, but uh, I guess throw them some food or something like that, some scraps off the table, give them some water. No, in all seriousness, come on, take care of your children's. Now, let's see here. Africa Industrialization Day. Okay, and then there was also the uh, race to control Africa, but uh, th- today is Africa Indust- in- Industrialization Day. Let's see, what do we? What else do we have? What other days? International Hug a Runner Day. Uh, I, I guess so. I guess they need to be kept warm after running for so long, um, I guess. That's all I can think of. Uh, name your PC day. Uh, anybody out there looking to hack my stuff? Just find something science fiction-y, and I name everything I have in the house. And Amazon controls my life. So, uh, spies on us in every room with every device we have, our phone. and my, my phone's always taking video of me every time I look at it. You know, it's just one of those things. You know, Big Brother's looking at everything. I can see the black helicopters in the sky right now as we speak. Why? Because the sky is blue and the helicopter is black. That's not very good camouflage. Haven't they learned nothing? So, yeah, name your PC day. Um, that, that's what today is. National Absurdity Day. Oh, man, I knew somebody who could really show absurdity by being absurd. I, I wish I could have that talent, but I don't. Instead, I am here on Vaquero Radio. Not that it's not a good show, but uh, it's it's nowhere near what it, what it used to be behind a golden EIB microphone. But who knows, maybe someday I will get there. I can go to Dubai and become this big international famous DJ guy. All right. National Gary Day. Ha, ah, Gary. Anybody know who Gary is? A, a famous snail? Yeah, that's uh, SpongeBob's pet. It's supposed to be a cat, but he named it Gary, and they have it in the form of a snail. And that's on SpongeBob. For all of you out there who don't know who SpongeBob is, uh, just Google him. Come on, how do you not know who SpongeBob is? It's you uncultured swine. So, National Lucia Day. Okay, well, I don't know anybody named Lucia. So, But if you know one, hey, today is their day. Oh, and National Oscar Day. I have known a few Oscars, including that Oscar DeGratch from Sesame Street. Do they, they even show Sesame Street on TV anymore? I'd, I'd ask my producer, but like everybody else on campus, he's gone. He's gone today, and I don't expect him back Wednesday. It, uh, you know, it's, yeah, don't expect him back Wednesday. So uh, now I got nobody to ask. Okay, well, National Peanut Butter Fudge Day. Go out to your favorite store, get yourself some national peanut butter or peanut butter fudge. Uh, you, you have a store, your favorite store, they don't sell that peanut butter fudge. Uh, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. You better, I don't know, protest in front of the store until they get fudge. Odd Socks Day. You know, I have a a son who could definitely be in the odd socks category. Well, no, let's put it. No, he's more of the mismatched socks day. I got two sons that way. They they can't wear a pair that matches to save their lives. Let's see here. How about birthdays? What? Future's birthday? Anybody know who Future is? 
I'm trying to look for the. I don't even think there's anybody taking his job over there, on on the other side of the glass here. Yeah, that, that office is empty. Nope, nobody coming through it yet. Uh, I I guess that just means the ghost of Christmas future past. Explain that one to me. Joe Walsh's birthday. Who knows who Joe Walsh is? No, he's not a person. It's an actual band. Uh, well, it's his uh, it's his birthday today. For those of you who know who Joe Walsh is, uh, Google him, and better yet, get on YouTube, look up Joe Walsh, and find some of his songs. Uh, I, I have some of his music on those old CDs. They were big. They were about twelve inches, ten inches wide they were black you, you put them on this little table that would turn and put a needle on them um it, it was totally awesome sound the way it was meant to be heard unless you're listening to it on a track then it's really good so yeah it was joe walsh's uh birthday today okay enough about joe walsh and do, do i even have his music here unfortunately ladies and gentlemen joe walsh oh you know what i do have joe walsh here and, well, since it's his birthday today, well, why don't we get some Joe Walsh in? Good afternoon. You're listening to Volcano Radio, the Valley Student Station. That was Bring Me the Horizon. That was Throne. Uh, I guess the music uh, song that was here found wholly by surprise. Of course, I had it all planned out. And before then, it was Joe Walsh with Life's Been Good. Uh, anybody drive a Maserati? Doesn't do one... Uh, 189, I would like to know. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about it. Uh, to tell you what to do on those highways full of construction, but fast as I've ever been in a car, I think it's been like 126. And that was like in a small little Mazda car. It, it wasn't even a sports car. So, so wow, go figure that. How's everybody doing? I hope you're enjoying one of those because I tell you what, I'm enjoying favorite beverages as I do this show. I got plenty in stock here in the studios. Why? Because there's nobody here today. So uh, it's the, the cat's away, the, the mice will play, and the, the cat's away. So uh, yeah, we're going to, unfortunately, the show is being uh, recorded, so the evidence will be left behind. And uh, so we're, we're going to have to cover it up in another way. To say it was, you know, something else in the place of what we're, you know, doing today. So, yeah, that's uh, that's your way out. It, it is already 1340 hours. Uh, for those in uh, Rio Linda, it is 140 p.m. That's in the afternoon. So, yeah, it's time to pleasure to have fun. I told you, uh, fastest, uh, fastest hour in broadcast all week long. So, uh... Good. Glad you're here. Glad you're listening. I got some news for you. Uh, let's see here. Gene Simmons. Yes, uh, they've been doing their five-year final tour, which is going to come to a conclusion on December the 2nd at uh, Mad Madison Square Garden, which is pretty uh, pretty cool because that's pretty much where it, where it started, except for they should be doing it for free. I bet you they're charging uh, exuberant prices for their, uh, for their show. And uh, Gene Simmons, he's sad and angry about Freely and Chris not uh, performing in the final show. Uh, of course, Peter Chris, well, uh, they've had some uh, contract issues, contract trouble, so uh, though he's not going to be there. Ace Freely, he's busy out doing his solo thing. We spoke about him last week uh, when he was talking about... Uh, who was it that he was trying to make look bad, but the guy did, uh, well, that happened last week, and, yeah, come on, Gene Simmons, you're Gene Simmons, contract issues, and uh, Ace Freely, he's doing his own thing, that's an excuse, man, uh, yeah, by the way, how's that, uh, you know, race car team of yours doing, Gene, that's all I got to say, you could really bring those guys back if you wanted to, all right, let's see, what else, what else we got here? All right, uh, I know I had some other news here, and it was about Metallica. They were doing, oh, hey, Neil Young leaves Twitter over at Elon Musk's controversial comments. Who? Okay, if anybody knows who Neil Young is, uh, let me know. 
uh, put it in the comments over here on Rock Kettle Radio. Yes, you do have direct access to me, your host, on Rock Kettle Radio at the Radio FX app. Direct access straight to me, not filtered. Uh, unless the, the man is busy trying to uh, silence me again. Man, I don't know if it's the app or if it's my phone. By the way, it's a Samsung phone. Uh, S9. Yes, I know it's like a phone from four five years ago but let's see here you can't tell me Apple's doing any better I'm, I'm totally a Samsung I'm, yes I'm, I'm bringing up that debate yeah not an Apple person uh, I know another person that that I really liked a lot he, he followed Apple all the time and I used to tell you what was going on with Apple just because he talked about it all the time but uh, yeah that's definitely not me I, I think they got a new Apple phone out uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm told they do. I think it's the Apple 18 or 19 or 20 by now. 21. And uh, maybe the Apple 54. But the only thing that has changed on the new one compared to the last one is they changed the type of glass on the camera. And they added and took away probably something to do with software programming. That's it. No big giant changes. No big I mean, we do. So yeah, you're, you're, you're okay with that. So anyway, nobody knows who uh, Neil Young is and uh, Elon Musk. Well, his, uh, his spaceship that he launched this weekend um, had a rapid unscheduled deconstruction again. I th those are programmed in by him. Uh, he, he, he blows them up on purpose. So what a rapid unscheduled deconstruction means, for those of you in Rio Linda, it means it blowed up. So, yeah, it blowed up again. All right. Oh, hey. And for those of you out there that don't know, uh, guess what? what? Rock artists la largely shut out of Rock Awards at Billboard Awards. How is this a surprise to anybody? Uh, uh, and nothing against Taylor Swift now, but I, I just know she's popular out there. But when you have a Super Bowl and you play Taylor Swift with one of those songs, I mean, it's Super Bowl. It's football! It's the NFL! Yeah! Hup, hup, two, three, four! Let's go! Helmet smashing, tackling on the field, everybody fighting and, you know, uh, uh, what's it called when they get their legs hit in and, uh, uh, oh man, what's that thing called, uh, Oh, when, when, when they rough up uh, uh, inappropriate roughness or something like that uh, of the player. Big old football game, tackling going on, running, and, you know, testosterone just out the field of people tackling. And you do a halftime show with Taylor Swift. Like I said, nothing against Taylor Swift. Excellent. Like, why don't you have, like, Metallica, you know, dun, 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 master, you know, the Slayer is that, oh, I mean, why don't you have some kind of, you know, Ozzy Osbourne crazy, uh, just something out there just crazy going on during a halftime show. And, and instead they bring out, uh, I don't know, uh, that, that guy that went to Mars. Uh, th no, not 30 seconds to Mars, Bruno Mars. Oh, man, you know what? I, Nothing against those guys, but when you have a hard-hitting sport like that, you, you really just want to bring out some music that just empowers the game more. That was Strutter by Kiss. Before then, it was Planet Zero by Shinedown. We, unfortunately, have come to that time of day again. I'm telling you, quickest hour in broadcast. I cannot believe it. It's nearly been an hour. And they're cracking the whip over here with... Our schedules, which means that uh, I don't have that little extra time that I used to have. It's, uh, well, even though today I could probably get away with it because the producer is not here today. He's gone. Just like half of the campus today. Uh, Wednesday, I'm expecting it to be even worse. Uh, but, hey, hey, kitties, show up to class. Uh, you never know when you're going to need those extra two points between an A and a B. And the professor's going to tell you, well, you missed... <coughs> You had, you've only been here for two classes, and you want me to give you those extra two points? Uh, you know what? Go jump. Versus, oh, yeah, you know what? You've been here for every class. Yeah, uh, yeah, and we just we discussed your paper. I know you know the, the 
content. Yeah, I'll give you those two extra points. That's all it takes is showing up to class to get that done. It's, trust me, it, <coughs> it'll help. And because this is the quickest hour in broadcast, you can just step outside for a bathroom break. And before you know it, bam, it's hours up and you're right back in. Didn't even know you were gone. So, uh, okay, honorable mentions because we are coming up towards the end of the hour. And let's see here. This is for what day is it? Uh, 21st. Tomorrow is Stuffing Day. Television Day, Dentist Day, and National Hello Day. So, hello, and that old Cars too. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. So, on the 22nd, uh, well, again, it's uh, Drinks Giving Day. Uh, yeah. Uh, boy, they had that day on the wrong day. That, that, that should have been today. We enjoy our favorite beverages. Cranberry Relish Day on the 22nd as well. Thursday, of course, is Thanksgiving Day. But uh, not to be uh, too overlooked is Espresso Day. So maybe you can wake up in the morning, get yourself, make yourself an espresso. If you don't have an espresso making machine at home, shame on you. Get one. And the 24th. D.B. Cooper Day. Yes, one of our uh, lauded, well, I don't know if he's a hero, but wow, he's like a Jesse James, D.B. Cooper. You know, nobody still knows what happens to him. If you don't know who D.B. Cooper Day is, or D.B. Cooper is, look him up. Uh, again, look him up. Google, that's all it takes. It's just, uh, wow, to do what he did really takes uh, it's just a legend of D.B. Cooper. The, the actual story may bore you. So, everybody, have a happy Thanksgiving. Show up to class. Work on those assignments. Uh, take the day off or the weekend, uh, especially on Thanksgiving Day. And uh, thank you. As always, thank you for listening and being here on Volcano Radio, the Valley Student Station. Turn the rock hour into the rock show, Monday through Friday, three hours a day.